Jabari has a surprise for me waiting in the house so I'm sitting in the car right now and apparently he is going in the house to do something so I will see you guys when we see what the surprise is Anyways, she has no idea. She thinks this is an annual date that we're gonna do every Christmas, which we will do, but there was a bigger story behind this, and you guys will soon see. Uh, so,
Okay, everybody quiet. Yeah, that one. You can do it. Okay. So, what is grandma? I know I told you it was going to be an annual Christmas outing for us. Mm -hmm. And it can be that. But I was planning more than the outing, the annual outing. Uh, for us um, so I'll uh, just go ahead and read you what I wrote my heart is beating <laughs> <laughs> I know I wasn't nervous when we were at the dinner together but now I am alright I know they say speaking from the heart as opposed to reading from a prepared speech, delivers a more powerful message, babe. And although I would agree with that about 90% of the time, that could not be further from the truth in regards to this special moment in our lives, honey. I am here today to present to you my most vulnerable self, to deliver a message that is so near and dear to my heart. I choose to put this pen to this paper to create a lasting memory and to display a resounding message to you and to those who you love just as much, <coughs> to those of you, to those who love you just as much as I do. As well as to refrain from missing any important points and expressions while describing the woman that I am so truly and passionately in love with. This moment has been nearly eight years in the making and you're everything I ever wanted and more and I love you. I adore you and I cherish you more than words could explain. You possess so many qualities that a man looks for in his future wife. You're selfless, thoughtful, loving, kind-hearted, gorgeous, funny, ambitious, goal-driven. But, but above all, you have made me a better man and an even better father to our children. I am grateful we met face-to-face -face nearly eight years ago and nine years ago over MySpace. My mama didn't know that. I have to be honest. <laughs> I, be, I knew it. I did. God has blessed us with two beautiful angels, and he has blessed me with a beautiful woman as well. But as we approach 2017, my mind is made up. I have never been, I have never loved or been in love with a woman more in my life than I have been with you. You are my everything, my rock, my joy, my moon, my soul, my rib, and I know you know you're my universe, and my universe revolves around you and our children. I cannot imagine my life without you being a part of it until death do us part. So I refuse to walk into another year without you being more than my girlfriend or the mother of our two children. You deserve more. You deserve an official title to your name. I believe our family is truly the most beautiful family in the world. If beautiful is a word, beautifulness is a word. And for me, there is no greater moment than now to make our family whole. 
to make us one. So I come to you humble and gracious for this very moment. Instead of us continuing as individuals, as we have been now for close to eight years, I'm asking of you to join me in putting the finishing touches on our family, to finally make, to finally make us as one. So I just want to thank you for being patient with me while I got through everything I needed to get off my chest. So without further ado, the moment I've been waiting for, and I'm sure you have as well, I have one question for you, babe. Will you do me this honor as I go to one knee? I ask the woman of my dreams, will you marry me? Will you do me this honor? When I met you, I met my destiny, my one true love. You will always be. If you feel the same, and I truly hope you do, there's something very important that I must ask of you. Instead of you and I, let's become we. I'm asking you to share my life, all that I am, all that I do, all that I love, all that I have is because of you. All of our future, all we can be, rest on this precious moment. So here I am, down on one knee, asking the love of my life, will you marry me, being Jay Brown. 